Beth, what? I gotta tell you this. Go ahead. So today I go to the ladies' room to freshen up my makeup, right? Of course. And I'm in there and I'm thinking to myself, oh, I kinda gotta take a shit. So I open the stall and I see this lady, she's in there, she's getting up, and there's blood all in the toilet. Now you might wanna sit down for this, but I glanced at this area right here. Her wiener was missing. Yeah, that's, that's, it's like, like I think it fell in the toilet. That's not what. So I'm like, lady, you're bleeding, and I think your wiener is missing. And she's like, oh, this, this is just, this happens once a month. I'm like, your wiener falls off once a month. You have to be the dumbest person I know. Just because I didn't know about their wieners falling off. Blocking, unblocking, blocking, unblocking. Will you choose? Ah, do you want peace? Or do you want problems always? Make her your stinking mind. Don't talk about these things with your boyfriend. Don't talk about how many men you've been with. It just creates insecurity, uncomfortable feelings, and maybe also a little bit of jealousy. Plus that the past is the past. And although they might not admit it, it's kind of a turn off for them to know with how many men you've been with. And the other thing is, don't complain to him about your best friends or your family members. You may have had a fight with your sister, but you still love her to death. Your boyfriend though may be stuck with the negative thoughts you shared with him, and it would be sad if because of that he would start to dislike her. Get rid of my shit. Look at him like no. this. Shit. There was good in him. <laughs> there was good. He was a good person, bro. Um, yeah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna, yeah, uh. See ya. Mama, are you approachable? Go ahead. As you know, I'll be turning 18 next week and there will be some changes in this house. My curfew is no longer 10 p.m. It's 2 a.m. I will no longer be responsible for your other two sons when you're not here. I am grown and responsible for myself. I will no longer ask you to go places. I will just be telling you. If you have an issue with me, you can no longer put your hands on me because it then will be considered assault. Is that all? Yep. Well, then I too will be making some changes. Since you will be an adult, you are now responsible for getting yourself to and from school. I don't give rise to adults. Also, I cook for children, not adults. You'll need to get a job. I'll need rent money and light bill money. As for your curfew, you will not be able to gain access to my home after 10 p.m. Me and my children will be sleeping. Where you went is where you will stay. As for me putting my hands on you, as an adult, I will now throw hands with you. And because I am a petty mother, I'll call the cops after and tell them a grown-ass man just put his hands on me. Sounds good? We have a deal? Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it, please don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Don't you dare say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, please, please don't say it, don't say it. Is that your other girlfriend? That's disgusting. I love it. Do you reasons, magnet? Oh, smack that hat all on the floor. Smack that hat, give me some more. Got him. We fucking got him. Right where we want them. Oh my gosh, did you see what she did the other day? No, like that was so weird, but like I love her. I, I love her though. No, like I love her, but that was like so annoying. But like don't get me wrong, like I love her, like she's she's great. No, I totally agree, like that was so annoying and so weird of her to do. Like I can't believe that she did that, but like yeah, love her. Did you see also what she did the other day? No, that was so, so beyond weird. Sometimes I'm like, why am I even friends with her? But I, I love her. I really do. Like, I really love her. She's, she's great. She's amazing. Hey, I have to go. I have to pick Chloe up. Are you seriously leaving me right now? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'll just live life all by myself when you go dish out rides left, right, inside, to like, choo-choo. He's standing in the rain. You would never do that for me. I would. Whatever. Oh, my God. Happy birthday. It's a birthday card. And it's got some money in it. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what's this? Who got you this? Chloe. Chloe? Crocs. She got you Crocs. Yeah. It's probably on benefits or something. No, oh, she's not. Oh, so you like her gift more than mine? I haven't even opened You know what? Yours. Whatever. Oh, these are such cute Polaroids. <laughs> Is that Chloe? Yeah. Oh, right. You would never take these with me. I would. Yeah, I would.
No, you wouldn't. You seriously went bowling with all of your friends for your birthday? Yeah. Okay, well, I guess my invite got lost in the mail. I asked you. You said you were sick. Oh, yeah, but you could take Chloe. Dude. What? Oops, got your coping skills. Now let's see what we got. That's not a coping skill. I mean, what if I don't want to live the way you live? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. And what am I? You high. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like you cool and shit. Like. Oh, I just want someone to break my back. Literally a virgin. Yeah, so you don't have to bring that up, okay? Like, I know. Oh my god, look how long my brush is. I keep dang, I actually keep remembering him. <laughs> he doesn't even know you exist. Yeah, I know, god. I'm so horny right now. Okay, so? No, like, genuinely, I just thought I'd let you know. If a girl says you have nice hands, it's probably because she wants you to choke her. <laughs> Um, excuse me, what the actual fuck? Yes, I've done this before. Making a stranger see my vagina. Hiding my underwear like you haven't got a VIP meet and greet my badge. I'm being extra nice to you, so this isn't painfully awkward. Don't worry, we see them all the time. Right, well, she doesn't get shown all the time. Turn it up, I want this kitten to be a sphinx. Do you think my tampon tunnel is ugly? Painful? To my soul, yes. Anyway, Tom said I did everything he said, which isn't true. Spread your cheeks. Okay. So intimate and I don't even know your name. <laughs> When will I learn? What am I having for dinner? Well, I'm sure you can see what I had for breakfast. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over me, hoping I'm clean. No sun for two weeks, no problem. I'm never leaving my house again. Who's Jewel? Jewel's was my first love. I'd like to remember it that way. I don't want to be here anymore! I'm frightened! I miss my mother! Come back, come on, come on, come on. Oh! You see girls with small boobs, I envy you. Because if you want to walk around with no support, it's fine, you look cute, adorable. But when I do it, it's a problem. Oh, it doesn't look like it's an issue. Posture fix. What is that? What is it? Ah! Everything's fine until you realize I have triangles for boobs. Then when I have to run, oh, coming. Like they're almost slapping me in the face! Remember I have to jump? Yeah, yeah, I love this party! What? There's more movement here than there is in my legs! You didn't think that was bad? They clap! Don't believe me? I give up! My mom didn't raise a whore. I did that on my own. Okay, tell me about a time that you learned something the hard way. I'll go first. When I was 11 years old, I got my period. No one else in my grade had gotten their period yet, and I grew up with my dad, so you know I wasn't about to talk to him about it. So for the longest time, I would just go get pads, I would wear pads, pads only, I was a pad girl. Until, in grade 7, my school went on a field trip to go swimming. You see where I'm going with this. So I go to the pharmacy, and I buy myself some tampons, I bring these tampons on the field trip to the pool, I go into the stall, I take a tampon, I take the little applicator, and I push it in. I don't know why I'm explaining this, you know what a tampon is, but it's important to the story. I just leave the entire applicator inside of me. Like, I don't eject the tampon from the applicator. So, I go swimming, and I'm kind of like, eh, this is uncomfortable. But in my head, I'm like, it's uncomfortable because you've never worn a tampon before. You're fine. Flash forward, I start wearing these every day because now I have a box of them and I'm just leaving the applicator inside of me like I said um so then I'm like walking down the hall and I'm like oh my god these hurt like I'm literally waddling because the applicator is like sharp if you don't if you just leave it in there it's kind of sharp so it's like literally cutting me and I'm like oh my god why do people wear tampons they're sharp they hurt they're stupid no Charlie you're stupid and on top of that, they weren't even working. Like, if you don't push it out of the applicator, it can't expand and absorb the blood. So I would have to wear a pad or a panty liner in addition to the tampon that is now cutting the inside of my vagina. And I didn't just do this once or twice, no. 
Mm mm. I did this for over a year, a year, and the only reason I even found out, like how to actually use a tampon, is because in grade eight I saw a girl in the bathroom put the the applicator and the wrapper in the garbage, and I was like, what? And then it, it, I pieced it together. I was like, oh my god, I'm an idiot. And I was so embarrassed. I never told anybody. No one knows this. I'm confessing my sins to you. Ten years later on TikTok. So, I just want to know: Has anyone else ever done anything so incredibly stupid and let it carry on for so long? Please, just let me know. Make me feel better about my mistakes. Okay. Psychological hacks to be more confident. Part one. Taking risks and doing the things that you are most scared to do will increase your confidence the most. For instance, go do public speaking. Go talk to that person you like. This will blow up your confidence. Why are you triggered when somebody cancels their plans on you or lets you down? Hi, I'm Candice and I'm a trauma mindset coach and I help you have a healthy relationship with yourself and with others. So this is very common for anxious attachment style that they would feel quite wounded if somebody cancels on them or or um, lets them down. They can take it quite personally um, because there is an underlying wound there that, you know, it's likely probably in childhood at some point you probably were let down yourself or, you know, disappointed. And that wound is then playing out. And with anxious attachment style is that we tend to take things personally. So we might see it as they didn't really want to see me anyway and, and it kind of feeds into all of those fears of abandonment that are underlying in an anxious attachment style. Patient hacks to get what you want from a real estate agent, part one. This is called the door in the face technique. It is asking for something exaggerated and crazy and then asking for something smaller. This will seem more reasonable and will make the other person more likely to say yes. Hey, bye. Oh, snap! Psychological tips to instantly be more attractive, part two. One, own yourself, own what you do and what you say, even if you say something stupid, have a laugh. Two, have an interesting life. Having a passion makes you more attractive. Three, feel good, focus on your own pleasure. Mom, can I please buy this? Honey, is it on sale? Remember, I'm only buying things that are on sale today. It's on sale? Here, look. Mm, yeah, you're right, it looks like it is on sale. Okay, honey, you can get it, but you do need to clean your room as soon as we get home. Really? Thank you so much, Mommy. I promise I'll clean my room as soon as I get home. You're welcome, sweetie.